In terms of the pace of dynamics, I think this is the fastest change in university in South Africa. My name is Dmitry Besterabov and going back uh, to pre-South African Dmitry early 90s, I graduated from Moscow State University in Russia and then uh, my first South African term started. I became truly Matia and then my second journey in life started. I moved to Canada with my family and my daughter at that time was 11 months old and we spent just under 10 years in Canada. In South Africa now, a second time, already almost 15 years, and I'm bringing a lot of expertise, industrial top-notch expertise in the area of hydrogen and fuel cell technologies, and that's what, uh, so far, I'm here. Well, I guess uh, to, to be a great leader, I was fortunate to get a good industrial experience, top-notch, and um, I also was in a leadership position there. So I had no choice but to do things right. And when I came to South Africa, I tried to integrate uh, local conditions, which is uh, very diverse and multicultural in South Africa, and also bring um, the Western world thinking of how science has to be done and how research has to be done, what the priorities are, what, what the expectations are. And I also uh, work very hard, I believe, and I show that by example to my colleagues. And I'm not afraid to learn new things. I'm learning something every day. I observed many students that are struggling because they, in the past they didn't have a chance to learn more but they are ambitious and they want to achieve a lot of things so for them um, it's a hard work and i'm trying to support as much as i can those hard-working students that miss sometimes maybe a few chances in their life on the other hand i really like um, the diversity we have a, a very diverse team uh, from African countries, uh, from overseas, and uh, that makes a nice mix of different cultural views. And uh, I, I have a luxury uh, to observe university, Northwest University, over 15 years of time. And when I came here from Canada, it was a little bit of cultural shock for me, to be honest. It was um, very oriented uh, with Afrikaans language, and um, I, I see how things are changing towards the inclusivity. But now university is in the top five positions, so university is striving for the excellence. And um, I see the support of management towards that. So I would say, in terms of dynamics, it's one of the fast growing university in teaching, in uh, research and technology. We are publishing more and more. University is attracting uh, various international experts like myself. We are going to have medical school, we are going to have uh, mining school. So this is definitely, in terms of the pace of dynamics, I think this is the fastest change in university in South Africa. Uh, HISA stands for Hydrogen South Africa, and uh, the pillars, the foundational pillars for HISA is to bring wealth about our mineral resources. South Africa produces and mines a lot of uh, very expensive and rare minerals, including the platinum group metals, which is platinum, iridium, and so forth. In fact, as far as the platinum, South Africa is with about 80% of the supply. That's one thing. On the other hand, we know that a lot of parts of the country is not electrified and we need to provide uh, alternative energy supply to those areas. And that can be done with on-site electricity production. But then when you produce electricity, you need to store it. And the very meaningful solution is to store electricity in the form of hydrogen. But to make hydrogen, you need iridium and platinum and all that platinum group metals. 
And then, of course, um, we have one of the largest unemployment rate. So by uh, providing a special technology and uh, making it available in the country would create knowledge-based jobs. So HISA is on the cutting edge of the technology as far as the hydrogen production, as far as the green energy implementation. And we also do a lot of demonstration of the technology in rural areas. And benefits might not be very obvious, but if you look at that, young learners, they learn about the technology, they're getting excited about this technology. That is a motivation for them to enroll engineering professions within the university tertiary institutions in South Africa. So we do these kind of things as well. And we also actually provide independent energy sources for rural areas. One is example in Fentersdorp, there's a school that uh, doesn't pay ESCOM fee anymore because we provide uh, free energy for them through our technology. These are the kind of things that we do. In my workspace, I would say I'm wearing at least three or four heads. One head is a head of a professor at the university, and we uh, look after students, we work with students, we mentor them, we advise them. The other head is director of the center that is primarily funded by the Department of Science and Innovation in South Africa, and we have certain key performance indicators in terms of reporting. The other head is that we actually are developing technology, and this technology um, is qualified on the high TRL level, stands for high technology readiness level. So we, I'm personally involved in the development of electrolysis systems, whereas my team um, is, is doing that as well, plus in additional hydrogen storage technologies. For example, we have on campus built with our own hands and expertise refueling, hydrogen refueling system. The question about uh, uh, guiding students, well, first of all, I just need to be specific. The nature of our center is such that we look after postgraduate students only, on the master and PhD level. We are constantly receiving uh, various recognition because of good students and our good leadership. Just to name a few, one of our postdoctoral students received a very prestigious fellowship from Cecil and NRF. There were only six or seven fellowships like that, so she's got one. So I would say that we look after our students very well. We invest in our students. If we can, we send them for training for overseas. We send them for different locations in the country. We promote uh, collaboration and uh, dialogue with other universities. And that's why our students are well performed. Uh, the proof of that Regularly, our students, master students, come up with the publications for their dissertations, which is not easy. Well, that's that's an interesting question about the support of the university, uh, of the university that we, we, we get uh, towards the HISA. So, um, when I came down, the instrumental person to start HISA and to provide Minesa support was our previous DVC, Professor Frika Fanikirk. Uh, of course there were challenges uh, with accepting me because I didn't come here for the big piece of steak, right? I, uh, nice steak, I must say, <laughs> better than in Canada. But I came to, to get things done with the support and with the, the fact that we proved that we deliver, we proved that we are on one of the best cutting edge research in the country wise and now in terms of uh, expectation of our requirements and, and our deliverables and we have also financial support from the university. I think it's uh, inclusivity and multidisciplinary and uh, also I see uh, how management of the university and universities uh, trying to strive the excellence and without implementing changes it's it's impossible uh, I, I i can't be africans proud as a proud study i can't first time but my language is still english i see it helps me a lot when people speak more and more english i see inclusivity i see diversity that in short uh, is is what i observe on, on campus Obviously, I'm a little bit uh, outside of the age of, of enjoying student life, but um, I can uh, say that I think um, our environment in Pochester in general provides a kind of balanced uh, 
actually as a freaky funny kick in the past that poach is good to raise your your kids which means it's a quiet and and yet pleasant place to stay in terms of the uh, university support of, of, of HISA specifically. I know that there are other hosted entities. So HISA, by the way, in terms of university classification, is hosted entity. And university is taking uh, seriously a stance to create cutting-edge, top-notch cluster on campus. So HISA is not only one, but university does make efforts to provide everything that they can in, in terms of creating the really a cluster of expertise. That's why we are called COC, Center of Competence. And there are only a few uh, Center of Competence across the country. And we are busy developing a technology that generates hydrogen. And uh, this technology, when it is linked with renewable electricity, such as photovoltaic or wind, uh, this technology generates the so-called clean or green hydrogen, which doesn't have a CO2 footprint. And there are lots of gaps in this technology to make it affordable and less expensive. But then when hydrogen is generated, you have to store it and you have to deliver it to the point of use, to the end user. And we cover that value chain as well. So hydrogen itself is hydrogen, no mistake about that. But how to make it, that's the big challenge. And we want to make it in a green and efficient and low cost way. In terms of our footprint, this uh, high technology readiness level calls for demonstration projects, it calls for pilot plans. And university assisted us with a large section of the land at the new engineering campus. And this land is turned into our piloting area, which is quite unique. None of the universities in South Africa would have such a facilities. Yeah, as, as, as far as the getting our young generation interested in uh, technology, in science in general, I would think that you would need to start uh, from as early as possible. Uh, you would need to uh, bring additional, more complex matter to their attention and, and maybe uh, spend more time uh, with nature and, and showing how the world is done, explaining uh, our universe. That, that would create, to my opinion, a certain a set mindset of, of younger people. Given the fact that uh, HISA Center, Center of Competence, is, is working on the cutting edge technology and we have a support from university, I would say um, together with university, we are truly changing the world.